Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Reasons to Live, a show dedicated specifically towards those of you out there watching this who struggle with suicidal thoughts like I once did, to remind you that there are dozens, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, dicillion, infinite reasons why you should choose life over death, reasons to live. Now before we get started, I would like to ask you a quick question if I might. How are you doing today? I would truly like to hear what you have to say down in the comments below. I hope you're doing good though, because you deserve to be doing good. Now, the concept of today's topic is going to be a little bit different. This is about an internal stimuli, in other words, reward. Now, much like a lot of other species of mammals, our brains are wired for things like rewards to be a positive thing. Now, I know, maybe it doesn't really seem like enough of a topic for an episode, but consider this for a minute. It took me years to stop feeling suicidal, to stop thinking I deserve to die, all of those other horrible things. And when I finally did though, it was a massive reward. It was a massive feeling of pleasure stimulants. A feeling like I was on top of an actual mountain. Catch my drift? Sure, it was hard work, but the results were worth it in the end. And you can even take this on a smaller, simpler scale. Remember what I said before, it's the little things that make up the re massive reasons to live that encompass our lives. For me personally, something I like to do is I'm trying to wean myself off soda and get in better shape. So what I'll do is I'll put my soda in the garage. It'll keep it nice and cold down there, but it's not like I can just walk over to my fridge 20 feet away from me. I have to walk a little bit to get it so I feel like I've earned something in the end. And it can be little things like this that make up the life your life's reason to live, I should say. So, don't sleep on the small things like simple pleasure stimulants slash rewards that those basic things in life will give us. So, before you go, might I ask you for a quick 1v1. Now, down in the link in the description below, I want you to click on the first link when you're done watching this video. First link, mind you, and it will take you to an article by BuzzFeed News that explains what happens when you call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline or text the crisis text line. It does a lot better of a job than I could ever do in explaining it, but all I'm going to say is, remember that scary feeling you get when you call the lifeline or have the idea to call it, and you feel like the situation will be taken out of your hands, everyone will know if you call? That anonymity you think you don't have is actually there. What am I talking about? Read the article and find out. Now, below that, I've put five mental health resources for you guys. For those of you out there who have been sexually assaulted or anything along those lines, unfortunately, put the National Sexual Assault Hotline along with the accompanying website. For our LGBT friends watching this, I put the Trevor Project and the Trans Lifeline. And, again, it's phone number and their websites. And lastly, I put the, trans, uh, I put the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline and the Crisis Text Line along with the accompanying web pages to see. Basically, the reason why I put the web pages here is so that you can, if you don't feel that comfortable calling in at first, which I completely understand, it's a very intimidating thing for me, but if you don't feel comfortable, check out the web pages. Check out the FAQ pages about their individual hotlines slash helplines. See what happens when you call, and then consider calling in, okay? You are worth getting better, and it's not impossible to get better. One day you will get that feeling like you're on top of the mountain after just slaying the beast that is mental illness. How do I know? Because I've done it myself. And if I can do it, of course you can do it too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope my words today were able to give you something useful, something helpful in your journey. You are wonderful, my friends. Don't ever forget that. And remember, there's always a reason to smile.